Hey folks, welcome back to Access RV Parts and Service Area. We're gonna have a little clinic today. We're gonna to be talking about this beautiful Gray Wolf travel trailer we got behind us, but more specifically, we're talking about an in-wall slide-out system made by Schwintech. We're gonna talk about maintenance. We're gonna talk about slide seals. We're gonna talk about the motors. We're gonna talk about what to do when you lose power and you've gotta manually put your slide-out in. There's going to be some timestamps down in the description um, that you can uh, key on each one of those. Also, I would ask that uh, if you like these videos, uh, that you would like and subscribe down below. Uh, that helps us produce a little bit more for you and keep bringing you some information that helps you out and makes you a happy camper. So let's get right to it. You might be asking yourself, how do I even know if I have a Schwintech slide out system? That's actually a really easy question to answer. If you've got these racks on the side of your slide out, you have a Schwintech slide out system. Now this particular slide out has a lower rack and has an upper rack. Yours might just have a single rack, sometimes right here in the middle. Now in order to maintain the racks on your slide out system, really all you gotta do is look at them. If they look dirty, if they've got dust, debris, rocks, sticks, stones, whatever is clogged in there, you just wanna get a soft bristle brush and, and brush that stuff out of there and, and keep it clean. You really do not need to lubricate your racks. Uh, the only lubrication that's necessary is up here in the motor uh, where it rides on that. Dry silicone spray does a great job. You pull that little flat back and you squirt a little dry silicone spray in there. Once a year should take care of it. All right, let's talk about your slide out seals for just a minute. Um, this system has two major seals. There's this one, which is called the bulb seal. As you can see, it's, it's bulbous. It does what it does. And this is your flap seal. Now this flap seal is going to pivot out when the slide out is moving out and it's going to swing in and it's going to swing in when the slide out is moving in. This helps to uh, brush any dust or debris, maybe any moisture off of the RV as it's coming in and out. What you want to look for is to make sure that this seal is on there nice and tight. As you can see, you can pull that seal back and push it back down into place. So you want to inspect those and make sure that they're tight to the, the uh, RV. You're going to want to make sure that your flap is nice and even um, all the way from the top to the bottom. You want to make sure that it's not uh, catching on these racks right here. Uh, I have seen situations where these rubber seals will grab these racks and, and uh, pull them kind of out of place. So those are just things to kind of inspect for. Make sure that you're getting a good seal. That'll help keep your RV watertight. One of the most common questions we get here at the service department at Access RV is, what do I do in a situation where my slide out gets stuck in the out position and it won't come in. We're gonna show you what to do right here and right now with the Schwintech slide system. First of all, you wanna direct your attention right up here. The motor that drives this system is mounted up behind these slide seals. You can't see it here, but we're gonna show you a video. It's gonna be up in the corner over here. Uh, Lippert has done an excellent job showing us what to do. They actually have a really nice video that shows the system out of the RV so you can see how everything works. But basically what you have to do is reach in here and pull these slide seals back. And with a Phillips head screwdriver, you disconnect a screw that's mounted back in here that disengages the motor. You slide the motor into the up position, do that on the other side, and then you can simply push your slide out in to travel down the road. Now your slide out's free floating at this point in time. So we're gonna go inside and we're gonna show you what to do to lock it out for travel. So now we've come from the outside of the RV inside, we've disconnected our motors and we have pushed our slide out into the retracted position. Now this slide out is just free floating and so if you were driving down the road, it would wiggle itself out. So we need to block this and make sure that doesn't happen. Now this is only something you need to do in times of emergency when those motors are disconnected. And it's as simple as taking a, a, a piece of wood or a two by four in this instance, cutting it to length and then fitting it in between the wall and the slide out backing to prevent that slide out from working itself out as you're driving down the road. And that's how you get home safely. Another common question we get here at the service department at Access RV is what do I do when my Schwintech slide out system isn't coming in or going out at the uh, same rate, the left side versus the right side? And I'm gonna show you how to do that. First thing, you wanna extend your slide out until it's almost all the way out but leave yourself about eight to 10 inches between the fascia of the slide out and the slide out wall. From there, you're gonna to come to your switch. You're gonna push the extend button. Now the important part is to make sure you keep holding that extend button until it's gone all the way out and then an additional three to five seconds before you let go. To resynchronize those motors, 
We're gonna move the slide out in that eight to 10 inches that we talked about, and then we're gonna extend it back out. But remember, hold that button down. When it gets to the wall, count another three to five seconds, and that will resynchronize your motors. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us today, folks, talking about Schwintech slide out systems. Don't forget to like and subscribe below. Come check us out over at accessrv.com. Come visit our service and parts department. We'll see you again later.